Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel Learning with Roshan Sir. We provide video on physics, chemistry, maths and Vedic maths. हमारे चैनल के सारे वीडियोस को देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस करना ना भूलें। Now let's start with the video. Now here we start with exercise 10.1 of the chapter Algebraic Expression and Identities. And we have the first question to identify the terms, their numerical as well as the literal coefficient in each of the following expressions. And we are having the first part as 12x square y minus 4xy square. Here we have to first of all find the terms, then literal coefficient and then the numerical coefficients. And here we are having two terms 12x square y and minus 4y square. And the numerical coefficient in this one is 12 and literal coefficient is x square y. Now in this term we are having the numerical coefficient as minus 4 and the literal coefficient as x y square. Now let's see one more part x square upon 3 plus y upon 6 minus x y square. Here in this one we are having three terms x square upon 3 y upon 6 and minus x y square. Now the numerical coefficients are 1 upon 3 from here, 1 upon 6 from here and minus 1 from this one. And now literal coefficients and here we are having the literal coefficient x square from this term, y from this one and x y square from this term. Now we will move to the next question. Here in question number 2 we have to identify from the expressions that it is monomial, binomial or trinomial. Here we are having the first expression. Now we will first of all try to solve it. If it is able to solve, then you are going to solve it, then you are going to decide whether it is a monomial, binomial or trinomial. On multiplication, we have got 5 p q r square and which is only one term. Therefore, it is a monomial. Now, let us see the second part. Here, we are having a division sign between these two and again this can be solved and on solving, we will be getting 3 x square y upon 2 z which is again a monomial. Now we are having the fourth part. Now this can be break into this three parts and as we are having three parts over here, three terms over here, therefore it is a trinomial. Now we are having the sixth part of this one. Here we can see we are having a division sign over here and multiplication sign over here. So these two can be solved and these two can also be solved. On solving these two, we have got this. Now we can see that they are in two terms. So this is binomial. Now let's see question number 3. Now in question number 3 we have to identify whether the expression is a polynomial or not and if it is a polynomial then you have to identify its degree also. Here we are having the first part. As we all know in a polynomial the power of variables can never be negative. It should be always positive. So here we can see we are having 4 plus 2 and 1 over here. So it is a polynomial. और अगर ये पॉलीनोमियल है तो इसका हमें डिग्री भी बताना है और डिग्री के लिए सबसे हाईएस्ट पार द हाईएस्ट पार इज 4 सो द डिग्री इज 4 नाउ लेट्स सी सम अदर पार्ट्स नाउ हियर वी आर हैविंग द सेकंड पार्ट इन दिस वन वी कैन सी वी आर हैविंग वेरिएबल इन द डिनोमिनेटर नाउ अगर हम इसको ऊपर लेके जाएंगे तो ये नेगेटिव हो जाएगा इसका पार नेगेटिव हो जाएगा दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नॉट अ पॉलीनोमियल एंड इफ इट इज नॉट अ पॉलीनोमियल देयर इज नो केस ऑफ डिग्री now let's see one more part. Now here in this one we can see all of the parts are again positive. Nothing in the denominator. So it is again a polynomial. And for degree, hum iske powers ko add karenge. Here we are having 3 and 2. So it will become 5. Here it is 1 and 4. It will again become 5. Here it is 1 and 1. So it will be 2. So highest sum kitna aare? 5. So its degree is again 5. This means अगर हमारे पास कोई सिंगल वेरिएबल है तो उसमें तो सबसे हाईएस्ट पावर ही लेते हैं हम लोग डिग्री के लिए बट अगर हमारे पास ग्रुप ऑफ वेरिएबल्स हैं तो उनके हमें पावर्स को ऐड करना होता है और सबसे बड़ी पावर्स को हम लोग डिग्री अज्यूम करते हैं नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 वी हैव टू ऐड द गिवन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड एज वी वेरी वेल नो दैट ओनली लाइक टर्म्स आर एडेड सो वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू राइट दिस होल एक्सप्रेशन देन वी विल बी राइटिंग the terms which are like to this one like 3 is over here so we are going to write 3 over here then we are having 9 pq that can be written over here and then minus 2 p square q square that will be written over here and after that we are going to all 
add up all of them and we can start from here only 7 plus 3 that is equals to 10 then here 4 plus 9 that is equals to 13 then the sum of 5 and minus 2 that is plus 3 now let's see the fourth part of this one and here we are having four expressions this one this this and this one now we are going to write this first expression at a time then we are going to write the like terms of this expression beneath this one so here we will writing 3x square over here minus 5x there is nowhere we are having x over here so we can write 5x over here then 4 beneath 9 and similarly for the other two expressions so here we can start our addition now 5 11 and 13 all are negative so they will be added as all negatives are added so 5 and 11 16 and 16 plus 13 29 after getting the sum of the last digits and uh, last terms now we will move to this one 9 4 and 1 all are again positive so they will be added and the sum is 14 then over here we can see the two of them is positive and the one is negative so first of all we are going to add these two that is 3 and 6 that is 9 and 9 minus 7 is 2 then 4 plus 7 we are having 4 plus 7 that is equals to 11 and here we get the sum of the all four expressions now let's see question number 5 here in this question we have to subtract this expression from this so very first of all we are going to write this expression then we are going to copy this expression and we are going to write all the like terms just beneath to each other after that we are going to change the sign of all the terms of the second expression then we are going to solve them as we were doing in the case of addition same signs will be added so 5 and 7 will be added here again 7 and 2 will be added then we will be adding minus 5 and minus 3 and over here it will be subtracted because it is positive and this one is negative so 14 minus 8 will be 6 now let's see one more part of it and here we are getting the third part of it here again we are going to write this expression first then we are going to copy this one now we are going to copy this term with the same like terms and here we get this now we are going to change all the signs and after changing the sign we are going to just solve it and here 5 minus 4 that is 1 then both of them are having a minus sign so there will be 2 and 5 and add it to get 7 then here 5 and 3 plus 8 pq then here we are having both of them minus so it will be minus 18 q then minus and plus so it will be plus 5 p and here it will be added because they both are having the same sign so it is 28 that is the answer for this question now let's see question number 6 here we have to subtract the sum of the first two expression from the third expression so very first of all we are going to find the sum of the first two expressions and for the sum of these two expressions first of all we are going to write them as is then we are going to add these two and here 3 plus 7 that is 10 then 7 minus 3 that is 4 then we are having 5 minus 4 that is x square 1 x square and then we are having 3 plus 2 that is 5 now we can find the difference of the third expression from this one and here we have just copied them now we are going to change the sign of this then we are going to solve them so here we are having minus 10 so this will be just copied minus 10 then plus and minus so 11 minus 4 that is 7 y square in a positive sign then minus and minus so they will be added minus 8 x y and here we are having positive and negative so they will be subtracted and written as 4 x square now let's see question number 8 here we are having the perimeter of the triangle and the two sides have been given to us we have to find the third side now we very well know the perimeter of a triangle is the sum of all the three sides now we are going to place the values 
and here we have placed the values of perimeter side 1 and side 2 now we are going to first of all solve them and here this and this one can be added to get 4p square this 2p minus 6p will be equals to 4p and minus 1 and plus 3 will be plus 2 now this whole will be transposed to the next side and here we get this now by making a transpose and changing the sign now we are going to solve this this 7p square minus 4p square then minus 5p plus 4p that is equals to minus p and 11 minus 2 equals to 9 that's all in this video for any question or query you can contact me on my given contact number हमारे वीडियो में लास्ट तक बने रहने के लिए थैंक यू डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट ऑन इट